Hey guys, welcome back to Thimble Threads. This is Shauna and I am here today to show you how to apply one of our glow in the dark skins to the latest Magic Band Plus design. Uh, this application video is not going to be for the foil skins, not for the smooth skins. It's going to be for the glow skins and the printed glow skins. And that is it. It is very similar to some of our other applications. Of course, we do have a troubleshooting video on this channel that does apply to some of the little things that you may run into. If at any point you're having any concerns, feel free to absolutely just stop what you're doing, set it down, walk away and message us. We will respond as quickly as possible. So what you're gonna need to get started is of course your band. Of course, the package that we send you, which is a bubble mailer, it'll be one of various colors, but usually always a size. Your enclosed printed instructions, which are not actually applicable to the Magic Band Plus, so they will look something like this, but it is important that you do find the correct application video on our site. And again, this is for the glow in the dark and printed glow in the dark skins. It will include an alcohol wipe so that you can prep your band. Uh, just remove some of those oils and things to make sure that you do get a good good adhesion, uh, the skin that you will be applying. I like a toothpick, it just helps sometimes. So that's always handy to have. And then a, a hairdryer, which is honestly the most important part. The biggest key is gonna be heat, okay? So be sure you have a hairdryer. Now, the um, what I like to do is just kind of roll this back and separate. The holes should stay on the backing. If not, you can use um, like your toothpick and just poke them out or you can use these little prongs to poke them out But I like to use them to help align our skin So once you've cleaned your, and prepped your band and it's totally ready. I like to just kind of lay it down Roll this back as you'll see it lifts off There we go. I like to use this align like the first or two holes now as you see this portion is the piece that separates off to make the child size band. It no longer wraps fully around the band. It just goes up about one arm. So once I've aligned those last two holes, I like to flip it around and then line it up. As I'm lining it up, I'm actually bending the band. Okay, so that's a really important part. You want this center piece depending on how much you bend or don't bend, it's going to determine where it lines up to. You want it to line up just to that bevel, okay? Not over it, just right up to the bevel, okay? So that's the important part here. Now, you will notice, look at that, it's lifting, it's puckering. It does not wanna stick to the Magic Band material. And that, my friends, is where your heat comes in. So get it aligned. Now it may take a bit more heat than you would think is necessary. You wanna heat it until kind of warm and then hold it in place while it cools. And as you'll see, it sorts, sort of like shrink wraps onto the band because what happens is that heat is really activating that adhesive, making it tacky, making it warm and making it want to stick to this material, okay? So that's one side, again, up to not over this bevel right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it around. I am not gonna force this side flat because once you force this flat, it causes that skin to pucker and lift off. So you don't wanna do that. I just like to kind of set it down just a bit so that what I can do is again, rolling off the backing here. These skins are designed to nest just inside that colored area of the arms, okay? Tack the end down, flip it over. Coming right up, staying within that colored area. Let's see, there you go. Staying within that colored area. Don't forget, I determine where this hits based on whether how much I do or don't curve. I wanna go right up to the bevel, right up to the bevel, out one side, out the other side. And again, we've got some puckering and some lifting. Heat.
There we go. And what I like to do is latch it on just this last hole of the skin. Be very careful when you're latching and unlatching so you don't just rip it. Now, once you've done that, just make sure all of the edges are smoothed down and you're gonna wanna let this sit and cure for 24 hours just on the band, leaving it latched. I like to use my, my toothpick at this point to lift off the little center head here. to lift off the little center head. And then I like to just nest right inside. You don't wanna overlap that gray area because that's the part that lights up. And then just a shot of heat. There you go, that's it, you just leave it. And what I'm gonna do right now is I will be right back to show you the glow, but I'm gonna pop over and let this charge in the sunlight, that's right. Our glow in the dark skins, if I shut off all the lights right now, it's not gonna just inherently glow, it has to charge. You have to charge the glow in the dark products in light. And you know what works best is the Florida sunlight. So any questions, concerns at all, by all means, stop what you're doing, shoot us a message. We are available, troubleshooting videos here on this site as well. And other than that, guys, uh, be sure to let it charge and enjoy that glow.